Previously on Uongozi. Tungeuza hizo mizigo haingekuwa kosa kufanya hivyo. Mugeenda jela. Our 16 finalists are Kazia Khadija from Taita Taveta County, Solomon Mudera from Mombasa County, Felipe Saja from Machakos County, Herman Muraguri from Nairobi County, Enoch Maina from Garissa County, Zainab Wario from Isiolo County, Elizabeth Duya from Lamu County, Aidan Muhammad from Mandera. Jennifer Roby Chacha from Migori County, Evelyn Gakinya from Laikipia County, Rose Nyasuguta from Kisi County, Raymond Chiang from Kisumu County, James Leperok from Turkana County, Joram Amondi from Siaya County, Eunice Songa living in the Dominican Republic, and Hadlin Lusui from Nandi County. Uongozi will be presided over by three judges John Givango, Tom Boya, and Mweni Lundi. From time to time, there will also be a guest judge depending on the task. Welcome, Wazalendo and Kenya Moja teams. The next task is a race. And you will be competing in this race and will be expected to spend the night at your destination. The first group to reach this destination as a group wins the race. Now, when you go to the common room after this, you will choose new leaders and you will be given each team a cash float of 2,100 shillings for incidentals as you go through the safari that you're about to embark on. As was the case last time, you will be accompanied by my colleagues, Judges Tom and Mweni. Enjoy yourselves and keep in mind that at the end of it, anyone will be going home. The judges give us a sneak preview into the task ahead. The purpose of this element is to see how well the contestants are able to, to, to follow instructions. Um, they, uh, they have been given, they'll be given a clue uh, and it'll be uh, imperative for them to be able to look through uh, the details of the instructions that they've been given so as to be able to get from point A to point B. Judge Mweni seems particularly excited about this task. I'm really looking forward to this particular task with a lot of glee. <laughs> Most of the participants don't really, they have no idea what to expect. As soon as they had race, most of them think they are running. You should have seen Zainab's face, Kizia's face. They were absolutely dismayed. In their common rooms, the contestants start off by selecting a team leader. Does so anyone have any input on who the leader should be? To my idea, I would nominate Kizia for that matter. I think uh, I support very much my brother Enoch. James feels differently. Previous meetings we had, uh, it was revealed that uh, maybe Kezia and other doubles, then the, the, the leader, are the ones who are maybe they were not actually in good terms. I feel like we should have a, a more neutral person, maybe the one who was not involved in those kind of activity. So yeah. we want to hear the hands of one, two, three, four, and who. So four win, Kazia is the leader. Majority vote for Kazia, but she had something else on her mind. Or to be precise, on her toe. I would rather not say that I don't want to be the leader because of the because <laughs> of the toe I'd had. So I'd rather uh, push this thing maybe to Rose Nyasuguta. Do you agree? Does everyone agree? Thank you. Rose isn't particularly enthusiastic. 
but she kicks off anyway. So we have decided, and you remember the task ahead of us, we need to get our things ready for the overnight stay. So First, on the agenda, pack your bags. <laughs> We are not alone, there is another group. Yes. So we need to monitor the speed, their pace. If they are going much, much ahead of us, there is no need of us being together and walking slowly. Last time we missed because we were we postponed actually everything to this. Okay, was an end of your time is up. There is no friction. There is a small mix up at the apartment where you know we come from where different backgrounds. I'm not used to washing uh, dishes. Uh, she, as a mother, she instructed everyone to wash cups here and there, but uh, it's been difficult for me to do that work. Kenya Moja also try to get their act together. And I think this time, uh, based on gender equality, we'll select a lady, and uh, I'm proposing Hadlin. I say for Hadlin. Hardlin gets down to business. We pack what we think we need, yeah. and then maybe we go through our packing very fast yeah. so that we assure everybody is just carrying what they might need. <coughs> Based on the size of the bag, just make sure you pack what you need. Yeah. Right? Yes. Yeah. Now, um, we have packed clothes. Um, where are we going to like change? According to Jora, I to think he's the only one who has something yeah. extra on yeah. top. Mm -hmm. Maybe I would advise you maybe just remove because in the uh, uh, instruction paper you had been told that there are some things that you can leave in the common room so that when you go out you can put on the t-shirt and when it becomes cold you can put the warm jacket. While we are there, we'll, we'll, you know, we'll come up with ways and means of changing. There has to be a way anyway. Yeah. And then we, we embark on that. Meanwhile, we have to just leave the room the way we are. Judge Tom shares his thoughts. Uh, I get the impression that some of them believe that uh, the, there is a physical race coming on, Yan in Bio. So, uh, <laughs> it, uh, you know, I think that, uh, you know, others have taken on board the fact that, you know, it, it, it may be something that involves uh, doing other tasks as well along the way. Once the contestants leave the room, each judge places the first clue in one of the contestants' bags. Kenya Moja contestants are anxious. I don't know what lies ahead. I'm, I'm not very sure because you see, we are just talking about a race. We don't know if it's a wheelbarrow race, uh, a car race, a bicycle race, but we are good to go. We are prepared. I'm optimistic I'll be able to do it, but still, you know, get a little bit jittery. You know, you worry the logistics, or is it going to be whether we are traveling far? But, you know, a challenge, again, a challenge is a challenge. Joram confirms a wardrobe mismatch. I had um, a shock because um, I didn't expect to engage in, uh, in, 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 uh, in uh, such kind of a, of a task this morning. And uh, even the way uh, I, I put on in the morning, uh, I didn't have that idea. The two teams head out to the starting line for the flag off. You're ready. Yes. You're going to have to search for a series of clues as you go through the rest of this task. Inside each team's set of bags, in one of the bags, there's a clue. So I would urge you to quickly move to your bags, find which bag has got the clue, read it, follow it, and good luck. The race starts now. Contestants struggle to find the first clue in one of their bags. Kazia seems to have forgotten the injury on her toe. On foot, on foot. Contestants are required to find a David Miner who will take them to their next destination. The correct driver will give them their next clue. If they pick the wrong Matatu, they will suffer a delay. My name is Jaram Nyanga. Uh, we are looking for one David Miner. Yeah. We have to have two something. We should not separate. Four. Yes, that's why we are looking. 
for you. Yeah. You're dipping my Oh, I know that you are dipping my Give me evidence that you are dipping my name. You don't have to prove now. You don't have to prove now. You don't have to prove now. What is it? What is it? Can you do it? Where? Kenya Moja seems to have it together. Was Alendo are still hitting a wall? Okay, guys, listen. Okay, we need to stop Where is everybody? Yes, you have everybody. No, wait, at your next destination. 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 Who gave you that? Yeah, let's go, man. Good. Kenya Motor have moved fast, and within 15 minutes, they're off. Was Alendo are still knocking heads? driver showed us a driving license. It's not David Maina, this one. If there's name, another David Maina, yes. it should be that, that way. Yeah. Let me just ask you guys one question. Yeah. Remember, all, all of us, the two teams, were supposed to find one David Maina. Yeah. Yeah. Keeping in mind, the, the other should, group is already... Yeah. 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 Coming up on Uongozi. Okay, Rose, can you now speak? Tell us where to go. Welcome back to Uongozi. Kenya Moja, now ahead of the game, encounter their first setup. The conductor tells him he needs to take some money to his boss, and the contestants are not happy. The team shows the boss their dissatisfaction. Still at Adams, Kazia gets a lead. The first person is saying, Nini ni taopeleka mali metaka kuenda. Huyo hajui mali tunaenda, so he's not assigned to us. This one is saying, Nini ngie ni msiliambia mali mnaenda, I'll take you. No, no, no. But you don't know where we are going. Excuse me, excuse me. Rose, Rose, Rose. It's written here. Rose, excuse me. It's written here. We were told to look for the person by the name David Marina. My friend here showed us. No, he could know. David Nani. David Nani. David Nani. David Nani. David Nani. Your last name. David Nani. You work like that. How come all, all sorts of ideas start to arise? It's because they want to know whether we know no, the no, this is a good thing. And how come? No, of course, course it's a challenge. James tries to share his wisdom with his teammates. Despite James' advice, Aiden is still stuck on the same path. Ah, ah, what are you doing, Ani? Let's cool, let's cool, let's cool for a moment. Let's cool, eh? Let's cool for a moment. It's time for a new strategy. Whoever wants to go into this car to our final destination, raise up their hands. Who's <laughs> 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 
Rose, where we are going? Okay, Rose, can you now speak? Tell us where to go now. We follow you. No, give okay. No, yes. Let's clarify. Let's no. clarify that again. Who you are Mesema? Yeah, but you yeah, people yeah. come in. Don't tell me where you're going. And the yes. yes. And the yes. are driving license. Yes. That means we are secured. Yeah. Even anything yes. happens, he knows we are where he's taking us. Okay. So can we go? Okay. 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 Watch now where we are going. That is the question. Okay, let's go in then. Go. Finally, a little bit of sense, and they're off, though with a few objections. His name is not David Marina, I put an objection also. Eunice takes charge of the situation. Whether we're right or we're wrong, majority wins. That's the easiest way to make decisions, okay? Kazia seems to have a serious bone to pick with Eunice. Has understood there's no need to understood it's not the same. No, but see now people have understood there's no need to keep repeating because you annoy people when you start repeating. You make people feel you make people feel you make people feel as if they are we're not listening. But we've heard, we've all heard, we've decided that voting will be the way. I will prefer it and everyone talk for themselves, my dear. Is that okay? Are you going? What I'm saying is that people talk for themselves. An already frustrated group is just about to encounter a really frustrating situation. Unknown to the contestants, they drive past the second setup on their way to meet a funny situation involving a tire and a mechanic. The driver and the mechanic waste time to rattle the contestants, and it's clearly paying off. Yeah. I'm saying it stops. So this is a detail. See, yeah, try, try and tell them. Yeah. We are, we are again it's paying. Finally, contestants are yeah. back on the road, but Kazia is still not amused. <laughs> the contestants quickly arrive at the second setup. Hello, excuse me, Karuan. Hello, excuse me, Karuan. The driver fills in the contestants and they have a choice to make whether to help the damsel in distress with a flat tire or to move on and carry on with the race. They're panicking about time now because, again, they know the other Matatu is ahead of them. And so they want to get where they're getting to much faster. Uh, they're still not very sure what this entails because they know they're supposed to look for a place. As the Kenya motor travel ahead of the other team to their unknown destination, hang on, how did Kenya Moja handle the tire situation? On our way, when we were passing by, we saw this vehicle parked here, and there was um, a, a wheel down, uh, a tire down there. Then uh, uh, that lady in a uh, bandaged uh, hand stopped us, and uh, she pleaded with us to help her. Apparently, her, her tire was bad, and she'd wanted to change, so she'd uh, invited someone to help her. And uh, unfortunately, the person wanted uh, uh, the money that he, she did not have. The, the guy wanted 500 shillings, and uh, she only had 200 shillings. And what we've done? We've uh, talked to the guy, we've explained to him that it is important to lend a helping hand to your fellow when you find them in trouble. So we've talked to him and uh, as a group, he has agreed to support the lady uh, to change the tire for free. Judge Tom adds to the mix. Then they went and got into the matatu again, and then they thought again and they said, hold on a minute, something still doesn't feel right. So they got out again and said, no, they must now sit and wait with her until the car is fixed so that she can be seen on the way. Some contestants didn't seem to be participating. Why we are inside here is because we are working as a team, but we agreed instead of bringing commotion as they are changing the tire, we divide into two sub teams that want to supervise what is going on as we wait, and we have total trust in them. It's finally time to get back to where they are currently. Because we don't know the destination, we have to look outside. Because we don't even know where we are being kept. Let's find out what Wazalendo are doing.
Yeah, we are afraid. We are afraid we'll run out of time because uh, the other team has already gone ahead with the task. So we've decided that we need to be more coherent, listen to each other more, and um, decide uh, on what we're supposed to do as fast as possible. Contestants arrive at Kisarian Town where they will have to find out their next clue. They are to spot any indication of Uongozi branding as their landmark. So we are moving in which direction? My instinct uh, tells me this side. Yes, I thought we could start with that line. Mm -hmm. that side. Kenya Moja, being the first team to arrive, are busy searching the streets. Remember, each team is looking for Mama Scholar or Mama Olga, who has their next clue. However, it's not as easy as they think. They have been lost for close to an hour and Judge Tom decides to intervene. Even with the judge's help, they still can't get it right. Contestants, what are you doing? Mama Olga is right there. They finally find what they have been looking for and quickly zero in on their target. The good. Is, good one, good one, good one. Good one, good one. Good one. Good one. Take you to the stage where you will find a mode of transport to take you to the final destination. A happy group of reunited contestants are not aware of the next setup that is about to happen with the help of well-known actors to set up a convincing fight to get reactions from the contestants. As the fight ensues, Solomon is the first to react. The team intervenes and tries to resolve a very sticky Giveri situation. <laughs> Kenya Moja leaves just as Waza Lendo arrives. Pointed in the right direction, they make their move. They find Mama Scholar, but realize getting her attention is a hard job. Kizia tries to investigate the matter. Finally, the contestants get the clue. The contestants are required to ask Mama Scholar to take them to where to find their next mode of transport. Eunice is kind enough to watch the shop and we get to have a chat. The man went to look for the clue. So I was looking around for them because safety-wise it would not have been um, good for us to enter into a fight that had men, us being women. I don't think it was right for them to leave us. At least one should have stayed behind. That was just a coincidence uh, because uh, in the team, uh, the ladies are kind of the majority. We're seven and they're four. So we have one lady and there were three in that group that are gone on the other side. So uh, uh, coincidentally, the, where the commotion was is where the ladies were. What a fickle defense, guys. The contestants race to the next stop, hoping to catch up with Kenya Moja. We have decided to move. We get another three motorcycles. Kenya Moja are having a heated discussion. paid for something. Yes. We are supposed to pay for three. Yeah. So can we get going? We are taking a long run. Teams are supposed to use motorbikes from this point to their next destination. But then, can you do 150? Can you 150, bro? Kenya Moja are suddenly at crossroads as the clock ticks. As Wazalendo are getting their act together, Kenya Moja are getting ready to go.
us. Let's go. She brought let's, us with the motorbike. She told us to take the motorbike uh, to our no. destination. What the motorbikes have moved to that side. Matatu. As usual, a shadow of disagreement seems to stop Wazalendo. No, 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 no. Aden. The Mama Scola said we pick mode of transport which is tuk tuk. She didn't tell us Matatu. This is where you will take the. Motorbikes. Motorbikes. Aiden is once again derailing the team. What mode of transport? She says you can use motorbikes. So I think it's upon us to decide not to split into two because it's a written. Yeah, let's take Matatu. We have money to pay. Kazia goes against Aiden's advice and takes charge. Come, team. Come, come, come. The team regroups after finding a ride. Was Alendo wait for more bikes, which soon arrive. At corner Baridi, Kenya Moja dashed to the finish line. Congratulations, Kenya Moja. You have completed the task successfully. Yes. Uh, you have won. <laughs> so nice. You can relax now. We can relax. It's the best team you can ever have. Yes, we talk a lot, but at the end of the day, we act. And action we did, and here we are. Team, we made a double. We're moving. High five, high five. High five, high five. High five. Leonie. Weakest link in this task right now, I would say our leader. From, from my observation, the person I felt was overpowering the leader, I felt it was Adam. As the sun sets at corner Baridi, there is a final surprise in the tale. Congratulations, contestants. You have successfully completed the task. But as has been the case previously, there is a twist. Your last clue is to search this general area here to go to the various homesteads you can and find someone willing to host you for the night. Good luck. <laughs> Contestants quickly get friendly, not knowing what to expect. <laughs> At this time, we are advanced. <laughs> It is going to be burning and then you are going to be adding. We asked the house owner if he found all this stranger than fiction. <laughs> Contestants put their tired legs up after a hard day's work. Uh, right now, I think. Uh, Kizia helped them save the day in terms of finding a place to sleep because she did most of the talking for the for the for the team. Niliwa mini lakini sasa so far sita sema ni one hundred percent manake hawa jaundoka so sijiki tacho kitanya kita tokea mbele. In the morning.
We head for the elimination. Coming up on Uongozi. Kezia, you're given a leadership position and you throw it away. Why? When that gentleman was going to like throw um, a blow, that blow risked falling on, uh, on, on Wanyama. Welcome back to Uongozi. Welcome, members of the Wazalendo and Kenya Moja teams. Uh, you did a great job yesterday. I'm sure it was a challenge, yesterday's task. Uh, but you all made it to Kona Baridi. It's my pleasure to be able to reveal the winner of yesterday's task, which was the team that arrived as a team at Kona Baridi first, and that was Kenya Moja. Congratulations. So for the Kenya Moja team, the reward for being first in this task is that you'll have one night in a hotel where you'll be able to enjoy all the luxuries that are available. Please enjoy yourselves. Some of the events and incidents that occurred during the task yesterday were pre-planned. They were set up and we'll be having a, a discussion about them shortly. Let me hand over to my colleagues, Mweni and Tom. I'll start with Tom. The first thing I'd like to do is to invite the team leader, Hadlin, to tell us a little bit about how you think your team performed. As it is clear, my team won, first and foremost, and I'm grateful to the team members. Uh, there was so much team spirit, and even when we looked like we were lost, we always found our way, and we did what we could do. Rose, do you feel you are an effective leader for Wazalendo this time round, for this particular task? Actually, let me start by saying that I was caught off guard when... Uh... Uh, that's not a good way to start. <laughs> sorry, I'm sorry. Yeah. No, 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 don't apologize. I'm just thinking. You're being asked, are you, were you a good leader? And you're saying, oh, you know, by the way, I didn't even expect this job. Do you go for that job interview and do that? No. no. Okay, go ahead. I'm very confident that I gave out what I could, uh, bearing in mind that I had a group to lead that has different views and opinions uh, at some point. Mm -hmm. Were you confident in the job that you were doing? Did you have faith and you know, and know that um, I might be wrong, I might be right, but this is what this is the direction we need to go? Yes, I did. Did you give people space to make their uh, their the, uh, the, the, the opinions count? Yes, I gave them space. We had a lot of deliberation uh, right from the clue number two at Adam Sakid. Everybody gave their view, but I at last gave direction on what I felt, and they also accepted it. James, you were suggesting that the team leader position goes to somebody who is uh, more neutral and who will be able to move the team forward. Do you think, or do you feel in your opinion that uh, uh, Rose was that person and was she able to move the team forward? I feel like it took uh, some time, it took a long time to actually uh, bring us together and tell us this is the vehicle we are taking, to make us agree actually with the vehicle we are going to take. Okay. Uh, Kezia, you're given a leadership position and you throw it away. Why? I didn't throw away the leadership position. Mm -hmm. I believe uh, I'm very strong, I'm very confident and I can lead this team. Why I stepped down and gave the position to a fellow colleague is the comments which came in. Mm -hmm. I didn't want it to be like they're selecting me for sympathy reasons. Kezia, um, if I was to be very frank and say you saw a plot uh, that maybe a trap was being laid for you. Not really. So you decided, let me that's dodge, not, it, let me dodge not, it this time. Mm -hmm. That's not how I view it. Because what I'm saying, I know I'm very strong and when it comes to leadership, I can lead. Be it you like it, you don't like me, as long as I'm proposed, I'll lead. Okay. But you can tell us what you can do, but until we see you do it, it will all be pure, uh, pure speculation. So don't tell us how strong you can be, how good a leader you can be, until you lead. You encountered an incident where there was a, a, a fight. Uh, I was with you at the time, and I, I was able to watch what was going on. I noticed the first person to intervene in that fight was Solomon. 
Okay, first in the past, I've watched a, a thief stoned. So when I heard those shouts, I was really moved. I, I couldn't just... I could see you were quite emotional. Yeah, because I knew what was going to happen. Mm -hmm. So I just found myself, I found myself there. <laughs> yeah. At the point of the fight, when that gentleman was going to like throw um, a blow, that blow risked falling on, uh, on, on Wanyama. Then uh, Felipe came and held Wanyama tight. So at that point, I went then to pick up with the catalysts, the, 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 the so-called catalysts, that were encouraging them to, to fight. So I pulled them aside and talked to them and told them the dangers of violence. Enoch, when I left the house, you were the one who was supposed to do the ugali. What was the contribution of the men to the, to the dinner and the tasks in the house after you'd been invited in by the host? Um, I was the one to do ugali, agreed, and I was ready to do ugali. Uh, but I did not do ugali uh, because uh, as we were waiting for the meat to be cooked by uh, the, two, the two ladies um, in the kitchen, um, when the meat got ready, they decided that uh, since uh, they're probably more fast than us men in cooking, they let us do the cooking because the time was running. So it was not out of not willing to cook, but it was out of uh, uh, wanting to eat and sleep early. Bruce, back to you as a team leader. Who contributed the least in achievement of this task? I can say uh, the men, when we were accommodated, they actually contributed very little See. to that. They actually went down to an extent of saying we are delaying their food. So can we sleep and then you wake <laughs> us up and then we eat? So I felt that was not good. In the kitchen, there were two ladies, no, actually three, sorry, Kezia, Eunice, and uh, Rose. So we, we volunteered, that was me and Adam, uh, can, we, can we help you guys in cooking? And they said, let us do the cooking, go and fetch water. Rose? Yeah, I said yes, that is what it was. The problem was them claiming that we are late, they are not ready to accept that the cooking is slow, we have one stop. And they kept saying, do we sleep and you wake us up? Joram and, uh, and Herman, during the, the time when there was a, you came across a puncture, the, the lady who had experienced a puncture, uh, and during the fight, uh, where were you? During the puncture, we had agreed that um, let us sort this matter. We have said that two teams remain. I was in the back seat. Now, deciding to get out in front, and already four of us have already got out, would have uh, created a mess. And in the first instance, we are already so. So I stuck to the rules, and that's what we have decided. Thank you very much. Please give us a few minutes. You can leave. Okay. Colleagues, mm -hmm. we have a decision to make. We do. We have to, elim to eliminate mm -hmm. somebody or a number mm. today. Uh, Kezia has a point in terms of she can and she's a strong character and so on. And <clears> even <throat> though she did give away the leadership, mm. she did take a lead in the field. So, yes. so in the field, Kezia... She was she, in the forefront. Mm, mm -hmm. uh, Kezia, um, Rose did take up the leadership, but unfortunately for me, and that's why it is... I mean, she's on thin ice on that one, and I think that's the thing that would make her leave, is she took up the le leadership, but she did not have the commitment and the faith to see it through. But she didn't have enough faith in herself, I think, to be able to do that. Because I don't think it has to do with capacity. She is able. Kenya Monja is a very strong team. It's a yeah. very strong team. Very cohesive team. Yeah. Mm -hmm. They've worked very well together. Mm -hmm. They have now come to be uh, very, very comfortable uh, and confident in terms of their ability to work together. Yeah. Uh, their ability to, uh, to probably do any task that we would be able to set them. So uh, it really becomes difficult when you have a team that uh, has really a group of very, very strong leaders all around. The one, uh, the one question I had has been affirmed by uh, actually a comment that the contestant made himself, mm -hmm. uh, which is Herman Muraguri, when he said that uh, actually he tends to lead from the back. 
And I recognize that there is a role for those people who lead from the back. People, all leaders will have different leadership styles. Uh, my only issue is that number one, he's in a group of very, very strong leaders. Very strong leaders who lead from the front, one and all of them. Uh, and ultimately, this process is looking for that ultimate leader. So I think on that, he falls short. Fellow judges, I think we have a decision. It is time to see who is in and who is out. Welcome back to Kenya Moja and Wazalendo. Before we proceed, I'll ask my colleagues, Judge Tom and Judge Mweni, if they have any closing remarks. Mweni. Thanks, John. Um, Wazalendo, I know you were disappointed that you lost the challenge, but you gained something in the completion of this task. One was how well you and how better you worked together, leaving aside personal and ego issues. Uh, two was a recognition of the people around you in terms of accomplishment of that task. Mkawa Wangwana. You were po more polite, you, were, uh, mo you, sh you showed more humility, you were kinder to people along uh, the, 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 the process of completing your task. And for that, I mean, we have to acknowledge that as a key step in the process of building your team. So congratulations for that. However, a lot of other things also popped up and you know, um, gaps in terms of the process of building this group. And one of them is, you keep forgetting about the issue of leadership and what it is all about. It is taking responsibility for completion of a task. One of the things that uh, it shows to me when I, when I watch you actually physically undertaking a task uh, is taking responsibility, which I think is also part of leadership. It is, it is a, essentially a sense of, of, of nisisi, saying that it's up to us recognizing that you know there may be challenges out there but collectively uh, we have to own those challenges as well as finding the solutions to those challenges uh, and I think you're you're, you're 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 a long way towards being able to do that so well done uh, congratulations again to both teams and if there's something which Kenyans are crying out for from their leaders as individuals is their humility is hum humility what and you demonstrated that when you went into the homes that you went into and engaged with the communities there in a way that they all want you to go back and spend time with them. That said, I have the duty of, at this point, giving the names of those who are going to be eliminated at this stage. I'll start with the Wazalendo team and the person who's going to be eliminated from the Wazalendo team is Rose Nyasuguta. Rose, you can go to the exit room. Thank you very much. I'll move to the Kenya Moja team and the person to be eliminated from the Kenya Moja team is Herman Muragori. Thank you very much. Herman. Thank you. I should like to, to congratulate the remaining members of the two teams for having come this far. It's going to get more difficult. So go home, get some rest, I think some of you might be sleeping in a better place than us <laughs> today. And uh, that is your good fortune. And we'll be seeing each other again at the next, next task. Thank you very much. From the whole experience, I have grown. I did not, mine was not only the, you know, the cash and, and, and what came with it. I have grown. I've met guys who've been able to, like, uh, synergize in terms of ideas. Yeah, and where maybe I miss in terms of stepping up to challenges, um, there's always tomorrow. Uh, the church's decision, I can say, uh, was fair. If they saw what they saw, I cannot say that it wasn't fair because I know they wanted something maybe which they didn't see in me.
the winning team gets a treat at the classy Eka Hotel on Mombasa Road, arriving in style. Contestants quickly check in. Charlie Solomon, you're expecting you today. You're here for one night. Is that correct? Correct. Room? Yeah. Or which is complimentary. Can I have your name, please? Zainab Galma. I feel so good. Today I think I'll sleep like a baby. It's time for sizzling, tasty dinner at the soaring Eagle Spa restaurant. I do it, yes? And then I have some juice. Managing to get to the final destination in time, we deserve it. Sijini mafuta, sijini sabuni mase. Next time on Uongozi. I have a different uh, opinion. There is the magnet theater. Enoch, sorry, don't get me wrong. Anything that comes up. But they are but they are bragadabra. I know, I know. The last strategy is uh, the raffle ticket thing. I trust that Kakini is going to kill it.